Russell Bay's 9,531 wins. Has it sunk in yet? I realize what I've accomplished, but I'm not anywhere near retiring yet. I've been riding for 32 years. I uh, won my first race in October of 74 on a horse that my dad trained called Oregon Warrior. I rode a pretty poor race, but I've, I've become a little more accomplished since then. His dad was a jockey also, and he taught Russell how to ride, but he also instilled in Russell a great um, work ethic and a great family ethic. The owners, the trainers, the grooms, they all respect him because he just does everything the right way. He doesn't have any flaws. He's just really a great person. They feel like just because he hasn't rode against the top riders all the time that he's not as good a rider. But to be able to do what he's done, all the riders will tell you that it doesn't matter where you ride. If it was that easy, then a lot of people would be doing it. So over a period of 80 years, they've been recording jockeys. There's only been a few riders that have won 9,000 races. Russell rides between six and seven horses a day on the average. He eats only one meal a day. His regimen's a big sacrifice. The main thing I think that has kept me racing so long is competition, you know, against the other horses and the other riders. It's a race by race challenge, you know, and it's always exciting. It's really a great time in his career. He's in the Hall of Fame already, but he's very humble. He just approaches it day by day. Life is strange and you never know why you're the lucky person to be the one that could work for Russell Bays, and I have him. I don't know why it was me, but thank goodness it was me. I don't really get that big excited rush, you know, like I used to out of the gate. I got about 40,000 rides under my belt, so that's to be expected, I guess.